Shalom, Shalom, Kal Hala, Yahawa, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Let's give all praise to the Most High in the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida. And I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us His truth and truth and sincerity. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. In this video, I want to touch on something I just saw on TV. Okay, I actually just started watching this movie, and this is from the platform Tubi Tube, T U B I Tube, and um, it's on. You know, you can, you know, if you got a smart TV, you can, you know, download it to your TV or your phone or your phone, I believe, and it plays different movies. Now it has ads, but it's free. All right, and I found this movie right here that you see on the screen. It says it's called The Mark. It came out in 2012. It's an action sci fi. It says a man implants it with a biometric computer chip, aka the mark of the beast, must keep it from falling into the wrong hands when the rapture occurs. Okay, so it says a man implants it with a biometric chip, aka the mark of the beast must keep it from falling into the wrong hands when the rapture occurs and now i just started watching this movie and i had to pause it and i had to do, uh, do this this video on it man or i had to pause it and do this video because and we in this time man okay this is a 2012 people a lot of people thought the world was going to end in 2012 all right but it's you know it, 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 it you know it's a kind of a a low budget movie but the point is still there all right and i just got all the while i watched like maybe maybe you know five or you know so min um, minutes before I had to stop and do a video on it now I have a um I have a, a the uh the YouTube trailer right here and I'm gonna play a little bit of it before I grab some scriptures and, and, and let's see what we see sir we got everything under control here but I never liked this not one bit if they get the cheap it's all over yep. Okay. Yeah. gave it to him. What happened? I'm still a little bit foggy. What happened is you just became a very valuable man. You and that chip were connected, forever linked. You hear that? Forever it's linked. It's in the Bible. It's the mark of the beast. So what is it you need from me? A new technology has emerged. A microchip designed by the Avanti Corporation. You see that? I so what is it Bring you need back. me? A new technology has emerged. A microchip designed by the Avanti Corp. This is, this looks just like, you know, the signs that the brothers, you know, have, you know, when they go out to camp, man. The brothers have when we go out to camp. All right. This looks just like the sign. Now, this man, he got it like, like, like in his arm or in his wrist. But we know where, where, where it's supposed to go. All right, we know where they want to put it. All right, and I thought this was very spiritual because in the first five minutes of the movie they showed you this and they kept showing flashes. Also, another thing to, to, to point out when the guy got it, whenever he got it, he started seeing different stuff, man. He started like you know seeing um, flashes of things in his face, you know, or, 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 or inside of his head. And you saw they said how him and the technology was you know linked together forever, you know. Mission. I offered to buy it. They refused. It's being transported by plane from Bangkok to Berlin. I want you to bring it to me. I know that the G20 summit is next week in Berlin, and I know that Avanti is supposed to make some kind of big announcement there. Did you hear that? She said, I know that the G20 summit is next weekend with the G20 summit is where all these, you know, um, different, you know, um, nations come together and they talk about things for the future. OK. The other Pastor Howard was just going into the summit the other day and how it means mountain, which I didn't know. You know, I got edified on that. It means mountain, which, you know, obviously, you know, mountains is talking about governments. OK. And nations and the scriptures, you know. So he said this company that created this, we're going to uh, the summit 
and they're gonna you know uh, have a big announcement all right which we live in this time right now man they're about to have a big announcement i just did a video about the whole thing with cash app and how pe people's money get got 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 taken and they're gonna tell you if you want you want this never happen again you know so esau knows what this technology is man he knows what this technology is and this right here proves that they're about to cut, 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 they're about to come out with this man somebody had to publish this movie okay so they're about to come out with this and they you know been putting it in your face you know since 2012 and and, and and even further back you know this is all over the, the tv if you watch any sci-fi movie you know most of these sci-fi movies they have it in there watch the movie uh um, upgrade the movie implanted watch the movie um you know there's plenty of movies man but what she said right there is very very spiritual all right let's let it put some more play that chip has the power to change the world you hear that future of mankind you hear that that has the power to change the world that's what it's about to do it would have been nice if i had the choice she took a bullet that was meant for you so that you can live out your purpose and when the time comes god will reveal his plan for you can i help you with something I believe that's the, pretty much the point you know that's pretty much the, the gist of it you know you can go watch the movie i'm about to finish watching i haven't even got to that part yet but it was mostly just the beginning of this trailer for, for the most part that i saw you know that was um you know they, they had to put it right in your face man you know like i said i'm watching this movie and it's right in your face in the movie too so let's go back and grab some scriptures and start off with the book of habakkuk chapter 2 verse 1 it says i will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what i shall answer when i am reproved and yahweh answered me and said write the vision make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it so the vision was made plain man if you can't see this it's because yahweh bashmiel shai is not dealing with you he has you know blocked your eyes and your ears so that you cannot get it and you cannot be converted and uh healed you know that you cannot be saved so if you don't understand what this is, you got a lot of camps out here playing about this topic. Hey, man. Okay. Hey, you know, which, you know, really it's not their fault anyways. You know, if they can't see it, it's because the Lord haven't showed it to them. Okay. It says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. And to be a prophet, a prophet means a seer, you know, to, 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 to be able to see things. And these, you know, different camp leaders and these different camps, they can't see it. They're not the true prophets. The true prophets are back on the earth to, to, to a day. And they see this plain as day. It says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, which is these end times, these latter, the, 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 the latter times that we're in now. But at the end, it shall speak and not lie. And though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. So meaning, the, the, though it's delaying, wait for it, it's going to surely come. Okay, it's Bible prophecy. It's going to come. It's going to come a day where the whole world is going to be tested, you know, and tried by this technology. All right, they're going to say you got to take it. Or risk death, okay? Or you won't eat, or you won't be able to drink. You know, uh, you won't be able to continue to live in the house, pay your rent, keep a job. All right, so it's only a matter of time, man. Let me go here. Spiritual, because I was just actually uh, um um watching one of the brothers from the GMS Tampa camp, and he was live, and I just happened to turn the YouTube about to go go into this topic. And he was going into the very topic. So the Lord, you know, got prophets out here telling you what's up, man. You know, so if you don't, you know, re re repent and receive it, that's on you. Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 33. And when this comes to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet have been among them. So right now people don't, you know, they don't consider. They don't respect the prophets. But when this comes to pass, they're going to know that a prophet have been among them, man. And you're also going to know who the false prophets was when this comes to pass. All right, let's go here. I'm going to make this too long. All right, I'm going to make it too long. Let me go here real quick. I want to put this in. Because, like I said, the ones who don't get it, they're not meant to get it. It says, Ecclesiasticus or Sirach, 
chapter 39 verse 24 it says It says, as his ways are plain unto the holy, so are they stumbling blocks unto the wicked. You see, so this is a stumbling block for the wicked. They can't get it. It says, for the good are good things created from the beginning. So evil things for sinners. And this, you know, these evil things that's coming to the earth were created for these evil people, man. You know? And even you saw understand what it says. He put it in your face. This is predictive programming. Okay? From, two, from, from 2012. Let's go, uh, where I was about to get, yeah, let's go here. And what a time to be alive, man. What a time to be alive and be able to witness, you know, and understand this. Revelation chapter 3, verse 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So, because we have kept the, 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 the word of the Most High's patience, which is suffering, teaching his truth. I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. People say, oh, I ain't taking it. I ain't taking it. It's the Lord that has to keep you from taking it, man. Okay, it has to be the Most High's will. And it's going to be Yahweh Shah that keeps you from taking it. The Lord said, I will keep you, keep thee from the hour of temptation. Because that's the time period in the whole world where everybody's going to be tempted with it. That's why he said in that, in that, in that, in that trailer, it's going to change the world. He said in that movie, it's going to change, you know, this technology is going to change the, the uh, world. Meaning you won't be able to buy or sell without it. And he even said it's written in the Bible. So it's not complicated, man. Those of you that can't get it, that can't see it, it's because the Most High is not dealing with you. And they had the very same karagma that we, you know, ha have on our posters at camp. You know, it says, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. And these other camps, you know, like IUIC and um, ISUPK and, you know, these are particular camps, you know, mega camps, uh, you know. They, um, like these mega churches, these mega Christian churches, these are, these are mega camps. And they're pretty much teaching you otherwise. They're teaching you that, is that, 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 that that's not it. You know, IUIC in particular changed their doctrine up on it every five seconds. Okay, so those guys definitely sold out. And they all have something in common. A 501c3, which is a government charter. They sold out, man. Okay, the dogs can't, let me grab that. The dogs that can't bark, man, because they're not going to warn you. The Lord set up true watchmen that shall not hold their peace day nor night. Isaiah chapter 57, it's like chapter 56, verse 10. His watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. They are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark. Sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. So these people, you know, these false prophets, these false teachers, they're, 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 um, they're, they're dumb dogs, man. You know, if you have a dog and somebody's breaking your house, the dog's supposed to bark and warn you. You know, uh, it's supposed to alert you. Of what's going on. So if a dog doesn't bark, then the whole the person who comes house and, and 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 have their way in your house, you know, be 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 damn near laying in the bed, which about by, by the time you you find out, man, because your dog didn't warn you. And that's a dumb dog. That dog is, you know, a waste of money. It says, yeah, they are greedy dogs which can never have enough. That's why they're all about money. You know, I I I I should be K go out to camp with a damn water jug to collect change. You know, like damn street, uh, sh damn the damn street performers. Maybe that's why why they wear they they wear, they wear those costumes. And then you got IUIC, who call them in the true prophets, the bum camp. This that the third. You know, they make it all about money. They sell them breakdowns. It says, yeah, they are greedy dogs which can never have enough. They are shepherds that cannot understand. They all look to their own way. They're doing their own thing. They're looking to their own way. They're trying to get get they're trying to get their own game. And you have that in Israel. You have individuals that's trying to do their own thing, go their own way, you know, get you know, get get their own gain. It says every one of everyone for his gain from his quarter. All right. Let me go down. Uh, well, 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 let's go here. Let's get uh, well, well, let's lock it. Let me go here. Because the Lord said, true, watch me up, man. That's going to be warning. That's going to be warning you about this. Isaiah chapter 62, verse 6. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of Yahweh, keep not silence. Give him no rest till he establish until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. You're supposed to be on fire for this truth, man. Okay. You're supposed to be on fire for, for, for this truth and being a watchman. 
scripture says watch as well as pray so what are you watching for the prophecies man these prophecies are coming to pass before our eyes you had elon Musk just get approved for the brain karagama okay let's go uh so let's go ahead and grab it let's go ahead and grab it revelation chapter 13 it's spiritual because i was just going into this revelation, revelation chapter 13 verse uh Let's go to Revelation chapter 13, verse, just to get right to the point, verse um, 14. It says, And deceiveth them that dwell upon the earth, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles, which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth, that they should make an image to the beast, which is the new world order, which had a wound by the sword and did live, which is the Roman Empire, which is back again, revitalized as America. Now those miracles, as you're hearing about they, how this brain karagma can make people talk who couldn't talk, make people see who couldn't see, make people walk who couldn't walk, you know, make people hear who couldn't hear, okay? This technology can do, you know, different things, and, that, and that's going to be those miracles. It says, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that new world order, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. So if you don't want to bow down and take this karagma... They're going to consider you an enemy of the state, you know, a domestic terrorist, and they're going to seek to put you to death. Okay, getting beheaded. Go we'll grab that too. It says that he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a karagma in their right hand or in their foreheads. And you saw in that mo in that movie, you know, they had, you know, the the, the, the uh, flash up of, you know, that technology in somebody's hand. It says that no man might buy or sell. Save he that had the karagma or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So nobody's going to be able to buy or sell unless you have this, man. This is how this man get down. Okay, he's going to completely cut you off from society and his, you know, slave system. I saw a video about that the other day. It was, a, you know, uh, uh, one of these senators was saying, or oh, in the UK, I believe, saying how anybody coming over there, you know, all these immigrants coming in, you won't. He slipped up and said, you won't get any, any slave benefits or something like that. Slave system benefits. Some he said he slipped up though, man. But that's what it is. You you are just a slave here. Okay. He says, Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is a number of a man. And his number is six hundred, three score, and six. Matter, matter of fact, let me do this real quick because when I look this video up, so look, yeah. When I look I look this video up, looking up somebody's uh <laughs> uh while I'm, I look look this video up, let me see the mark. movie well the cover of this video look at this the cover of this video and they have a two they have a part two it was re re released a year later so let me go here find the movie cover look at the movie cover all right this is the movie cover on um on tubi tube now you see right here it says i'm gonna bring it back it says here is wisdom let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast for it is the number of a man, and his number is 600, three score, and six. Okay, which is 666. Six, six. And you see right here on the barcode, this is what the barcode means. We break this down every, you know, so often at camp. And they actually got it in this damn movie cover, man. <laughs> they got it in the movie cover, which we, we learned it from the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. You know, we, we didn't come up with it out of our own. We didn't, you know, we weren't the first ones to teach it. The elder apostles of Great Millstone you know brought it out and people laughed and scoffed and mocked them but now it's here in your face okay so this is this is a the barcode a universal you know barcode um where you buy all your stuff you know and you notice how it always has three it has a couple it has these dashes that are longer in the middle in the and, and, and on the ends all right and then the ones in the middle they have numbers but the ones on the ends don't have a number they usually don't have a number there so lucky like, yeah. But those numbers mean six 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 okay right in your face man okay this is the actual movie cover of the movie I'm, that, that, that I'm, I'm telling you about in this video okay and i'm about to turn when i want to turn this off I'm, I'm, I'm gonna finish watching it but this is the actual movie cover bro can you believe that this is the actual movie cover i'm gonna have to you know put this on the damn thumbnail man let me see if i can do it real quick All right, there we go. So, boom. I'm gonna have to put this on the uh, 
you know, on, on the cover. All right, so let's go back. It says, um, now let's go to here. W what's the penalty for it if you decide not to take it? If you say you don't want to take it, here's the penalty. Okay, it says, uh, Revelation chapter 20, verse, uh, to get right to the point, um, Revelation chapter 20, verse 4, and I saw thrones, and they that sat upon them, the judgment was given unto them, and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai, and for the word of the Most High, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his Karagma, which is when you go into that word mark is Karagma, upon their foreheads or in their hands. Okay, so there you go. It says, or in their hands. Hands plural. You know, right right now in um in uh what is it? In um that's not it, Salakia. In Sweden, right 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 now in Sweden, these people have it, man. And where are we at? Let's go here. It says Sweden moves into future with ID wallet keys all in your hand. You can't make this up. I'm gonna have to put 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 this side by side. But you cannot make this up, man. All right. And this look and look right here. This is what they just showed you in the movie. Okay. Somebody had it in their hand. So Sweden, which people been getting it in Sweden, they said Sweden moves into the future with a I with ID wallet keys. So the things that you take with you everywhere you go, you know, when I want to leave my house, I got a thing I say, you know, me, you know, me, me, you know, me and some of some of the brothers, we said, you know, phone, wallet, keys, headphones, everything you need, you know, so you make sure that you got everything. You might check your pockets, phone, wallet, keys. Well, now they want to put it all in your hand. OK, they want to put it all in your hand. This, this is how this man gets down. OK, he going to make it you know, known, you know, he going to put it in your face. All right. So let's go. Let's go back. It says, and I saw them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai. So the ones that don't want to take this, you, you're going you're to be, be you, you, you're gonna, you, you may possibly be a martyr and you have to get beheaded, man. Okay, you have to die for what you believe in. And um, uh, your government ordered smart guillotines. Okay, your government got caught ordering smart guillotines, man, which is a guillotine, which, which is a, mech a device, a mechanism that cuts heads off. Okay, they had them in the ancient world. You see them in those old movies and, and cartoons where they'll put somebody's head under, you know, in, in, in this device. And it has a blade. They pull the string and the blade falls down on your head. All right. But now they have them smart. You know, everything's smart. Everything is technologized. So now it's pretty much, you know, uh, it's, like, it's like a damn re -re -re evolving door. Going to be chopping heads off. You know, you know, like a damn assembly line. <laughs> hey, it's getting chopped off. It says, and for the word of the Most High, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his karagma upon their foreheads or in their hands. They go hands again. It says, and they lived and reigned with Hamashiach a thousand years. So that's when the Lord come back and set this world in righteous order. We want to be a part of that elect that be delivered. Okay, and make it out of here and, and also reign with our, our Lord, man. All right. But he said, um... The ones that didn't take it, you know, were be, you know, beheaded, you know, you're going to be persecuted. Um, let's go to uh, Revelation 14, the, the judgment of taking this. That's that, that was the judgment of not taking it. Now this is the judgment if you take it. It says, so like yeah, it says um, I'm a little snuff, stuffed up, so forgive me. Well, Revelation chapter 14, verse, um. 8 it says and there followed another angel saying Babylon is fallen is fallen that great city because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication which you know is um you know I went to test the other day with whole you know America pushing this abomination this you know uh, abominable lifestyle of being a um of pride you know pride with scripture says pride both before destruction so that, that's why you see America all in this pride spirit because now America is about to be destroyed soon man Okay, so they're pushing this on the other nations. They told Uganda, I believe, I did a video on it. They told Uganda, I believe it was Uganda. They told Uganda or Kenya, one of those African tribes, I mean, um, African uh, nations. They told them, if you, you know, because they they made a they, they made an anti-gay law or whatever. Saying if you're a homosexual, 
they're gonna put you to death and they told him that oh yeah you can't do that don't do that that's against human rights if you do it then we won't put sanctions on you pretty much you know take stuff from you it says the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the most high which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb you see so um if you do take that you shall uh um drink the wine of the wrath of the most high which is poured out without mixture okay and i kind of want to want to want to look up that name of the company that they said in this movie avante or something like that i kind of want to want to want to look up that name but maybe i may do it you know later and then put it you know um uh, make a post out of it all right i ain't gonna do it right now uh I don't, even, I don't even remember, you know, exactly what the name was. But it says, um, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb, which is Yahushai. It says, and the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever. And they had no rest day nor night who worshiped the beast and his image and whosoever received the mark in his name. Uh, okay, the mark of his name. Okay, so that's that's how they get down. They're going to. You know, put you through hell. Let me grab this too. Going into what's going to happen because if you notice in the movie too, he had the guy that took it. You know, he had um um he had the uh he had that uh you know it was kind of like a bruise on his hand where he had it. At. Let me go here real quick. Revelation chapter 15 verse 2. And I saw as it were a glass of sea. It's like as it as it was were a sea of glass mingled with fire, which is you know. Um, pretty much the last plague coming, which is thermonuclear missiles, the ultimate destruction and annihilation, which is the, the really the lake of fire. Okay, he says, I saw a sea of glass mingled with fire because what? What? The, the elect are going to be, you know, outside, the, you know, this, um, they're going to be off the earth in the air outside the, uh, the, um, what do you call it? The, um, the atmosphere, the outer atmosphere. Okay, the firmament which is you know pretty much it, it looks like a, a a glass you know it's, it, it looks like it's going to look like glass mingled with fire because it's going to be fire down here on this earth and you're going to be seeing it from the outer atmosphere it's going to look like a damn you know a, um glass and uh, a sea of glass mingled with fire it says in them that have gotten a victory over the beast and over his image and over his uh mark and over the number and over the number of his name stand on the sea of glass having the harps of god so those that that, that don't take it that, that 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 get through it and not taking it they're going to be watching the rest of the people that took it burn to death bro okay in the lake of fire which is going to be when russia iran china you know north korea send thermonuclear missiles over here to burn america all right which that time is inevitable and, and it is it is very well coming all right now let's go um right here Revelation chapter 16 verse 2 and the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth and there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast and upon them which worshipped his image that new world order okay so if you just give in and, and roll over and, and, and do what they tell you um let me grab that too and they're gonna be putting you through hell man and it, it, you ain't gonna be able to just you know you know go back to your daily life second ezra chapter 16 verse 68 for behold the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you which is these nations come ready get ready to come down with great wrath man okay you about to come down with great wrath lord said he will deliver you from all trouble you got to believe that it says and they shall take away certain of you and feed you being idle with things offered to idols so they're gonna try to grab, start grabbing brothers up you know putting brothers in fema camps you know different individuals in fema camps and they're gonna you know pretty much try to force you to take this karagma you know which is which is gonna be an idol unto them it says and they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot you see so those of you that consent that just say okay i'll take it i'll take it and you just do it you know because you want to get it over with you're gonna be had in derision and then reproach and trodden underfoot pretty much destroyed okay they're going they're going um you know use and abuse you man 
it says for there shall be in every place <gasps> so like you and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the lord they shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. But they will come down with great wrath, man. The devil knows he have but a short time. He shall come down with great wrath. And they're going to be like madmen, sparing none. Okay? And they're really going to be going for those that fear the Lord, man. Those of you that's not going to take it because, because you fear the Lord or you, or, or you believe in your whole and you're shy. You know, you know, it's, you, you, you already know this is the MOTB. The, hey, they're going to be coming down with great wrath, man. You know, predominantly upon you Israelites. But you got some Edomites too that ain't taking it, man. You know? So, that's the point. You know, I just grabbed a few scriptures on, on that topic. I'm going to touch on that real quick. Lord willing, Yahweh by Shimei uh Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Abba Ratzazai, don't let them take the video down. You know, because this topic, they, you know, they usually, you know, be an asshole about. So, Lord willing, don't take it down. Lord willing, be edified to the full elect. Shalom, Kormi Shirela, Abad, Baba. We got everything under control here, but I never liked this, not one bit. If they get the cheap, it's all over. You okay? What happened? I'm still a little bit foggy. What happened is you just became a very valuable man. You and that chip are connected, forever linked. The chip, it's in the Bible. It's a mark of the beast. So what is it? He had a blister on his hand. So, a new technology has emerged. A microchip designed by the Avanti Corporation. Avanti. Let me go over that real quick. So, so what is it you need from me? A new technology has emerged. A microchip designed by the Avanti. Let me go into that real quick. So lucky. Let's go uh, back to the internet. Let's go here. Let's see what Avanti means. Because this was the company that, that, that created it in the movie. Uh, it's lucky. Let's go right here. Ooh. Ooh. Shit. It says Avanti means move forward. Okay. So they're trying to move forward with this, you know, this new world order plan, man. This this MOTB. They want to move forward with it, man. It says a Devante definition means forward, let's go. Meaning, um, yep. It means forward or head, onward, quotation, you know. So that's what Avanti mean, that company. Was called Avanti, and they want to move forward. They want to move forward with this, with, with this, with this new world order, man. They want to move forward with bringing out this karagma, okay. And you're gonna know who the true prophets were, you know, that, that was telling you about this, man, okay. And when this come out, a lot of these camps are going to, like Elder Apostle Hart always says, these camps are going to scramble like eggs, bro. He don't say like eggs, but he said they're gonna scramble. You know, I added the, added the like eggs part. They're gonna scramble like eggs, man. All right, they are definitely going to scramble. They're gonna be losing their mind. People. You know, they didn't think it was important. What it was, hey man, it's, it's in the Bible for a reason. Okay, it's in the Bible for a reason. Let me see. Avante means after you in English. Let me go back. Let's, let's go to uh, Salakia. Let's go to Latin. Forward, come in. Look, forward, come in. They want to put it inside you. Yeah, man, so that's the point. I press that to the edifying to the full leg. Shalom, Kwame Sharala, a Bible ball.